I do. Uh, I've never, I never left. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest, I did not make that encounter any harder. I was going to make it a little bit harder, so we have five people instead of normal four, or six people instead of five, but I ended up not doing it. Well, I, I, the bear was going to make it harder, but I decided the bear was not necessary. Yeah. If the bear would have came up, we would have all died. You yeah. Well, you, I probably could have killed you anyways. <laughs> Shane, can take my bloodiness off? Yeah. And let's go to the castle. I probably could have killed you anyways because of the, uh, I only used my encou the encounter power on one of them once, and I could have used it again on each of them. I, I am thankful you didn't. I thought the bard's going to use some healing surges too. Man, if we got destroyed by this... Magic you had some bad rolls in the beginning. There. Bad rolls. Critting. You kept literally critting pretty much everything. Nah, I just wasted all my good rolls getting us this far. Yeah. So, how much time did that waste? Probably only, probably only, probably only a, I'd say it's probably a, not even a five minute battle. Wow. I mean, you gotta realize each round only takes six seconds. Yet with the amount of thinking and strategy that we did, it seems like it took forever. Yeah, it does. It, that fight did take a while. It took a well, it took a while because it took a long time to kill him. Yeah, I couldn't hit anything except us. Wasn't a lot of a uh, focus fire. Yeah, as they were all, all, all four monsters with blood at the same time. It seems Chris channeling his inner paladin again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just a fluke. Let's continue on. Yeah, fluke. Let's wait for Guy first. We got Guy to get back. Yeah, you can yeah. see him. You gonna use you gonna use a healing surge or two? Uh, uh, Mathel? I'm kind of afraid to. You might as well use maybe uh, one or two of them. I mean, you get you get plus yeah. you get plus four to each uh, healing surge, so. I'll just use one. Okay. I used I only used one, and it brought me up to like maybe like minus three of my full. So you get like like, like what, plus nine back. I get twenty. I get ten oh, back. Wonderful. So yeah, good. Yeah, so I'm all, I'd say I'm, so I'm basically almost full. So I, I think it's good enough. Yeah. So I got the Majora's Mask remake over the weekend. Is it good? It is good. I've only been able to play um, a bit of it, but it really is fun. I've most been playing Path of Exile the past couple days. I tried. I tried getting some of my other friends interested in that, but they all just like stopped playing after like a day. What is um, Path of? Um, it's like Diablo. Oh, it's but it's it's completely free, and it's it's pretty cool too. Not Ooh, bad. What is? What do you do? It's you do the same thing you do in Diablo. Although you can, it's a uh, you know how Diablo has that classes. They have kind of character types in. And uh, Path of Exile, but you could customize your skills, so that you could pretty much you get like you, could, you find or get skills called skill gems, and each skill gem gives you a different skill, and you can uh, so you can you can use there's like let's say there's a skill called cleave, you could have any character can use cleave pretty much. They just got oh. you, you just get to pick what they you, you have to you get to pick what they, they use, and you can you have like a you have a tree that's very similar to like Final Fantasy X. That you run around this tree, and you each time you level up, you pick a different um, path for it, and you put a point oh. into something. So it's all like Final Fantasy X in that respect, yeah. the leveling up. I also um, I also picked up a, a game for my Vita that I've been meaning to bring up. Um, it's called Freedom Wars, and it is it's like Attack on Titan meets Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. It is really fun. 
I'm a for for Path of Exile. It's like any can any player can be anything. Yep. Wow. I might have to try that. Is it a computer game? Yeah. Yeah, it's a computer game. It's free. Um. Um. I I paired up with this one person, and he was a he was a barbarian, and they're usually supposed to be melee guys. He was a complete mage. Yeah. I'm playing a, a shadow, which is kind of like a rogue, but I'm going um, full a uh, bow. Yeah. Back yet, guy? Yep. All right. Do you want to use any healing surges, guy? Yes. All right. You get plus four to your healing surges since we're. And I um, can use rested. as many as I wish, right? Yep, till you're full. Okay. And. This session's been like really talkative. Okay. Kind of like the last one where we had like a lot of conversation in like um one big battle. Yeah. Here, back one second. Well, who got down how close to dying? I think like three of us. Four. I had two points at the end. I had one. Just close uh, a couple times. One. Yep, Chris beat you at sucking more. That's what Axel at. Okay, we're going off to the castle now. So you follow the trail the rest of the way, and you get to the ruins of this castle. And uh, you, there does not appear to be any guards or anything like that. You don't see anyone... You think that they're probably pretty confident that their uh, that their attack was successful and that they're they, they're not too worried about the the people of Brindle. After searching around for a little while, you find um, what looks like a, a catacomb that leads down to uh, underneath the castle. Um, there's no doors to it, but it just have some steps that lead down. This definitely looks like where they've been headed through. Oh. So... so what would you guys like to do? I'm back. So what do we see again? Is it like completely black down there? Oh, um... If, if you, you look down and you see uh, that um, it's a hallway that leads down some stairs, but probably at the bottom of the stairs you do see some light. Oh, okay, um... Well, we need to get in the file order where I'm in the back. And everyone else is in the front. Get in a, 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 a two columns of, or, or I mean, two columns, pretty much. Well, uh, what's hap What's happened? Uh, over here, get into columns. That doesn't explain that much. It's, it's, I'm just giving downstairs. you guys. You're going down some stairs into the into the dungeon, pretty much. <laughs> Move my character for me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think... Okay, Alright, there, there we go. Unless the rogue wants to be um, sneaky and go first. Also, Shane, yeah, that's what I was planning on the on. top of my staff. What do you think? Jimmy Shane? Yeah, I hear you. Right. Just a second. So we can see a little bit. Rogue. You want to go first? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a bad idea. Go for it. Just a second. There you go. Figured I'd be sneaky and go up and tell you all what I see. Excellent. Roll me a stealth check. Oh crap, I haven't had to use that in a while. Give me a second. All of us? Nope, just the rogue. He's, he's going forward by himself to take a look down the stairs. And I see nothing. Yeah, you guys don't see anything yet. You should just see a black screen, pretty much. That's fine. I'll move you guys over in a second. I'll move you guys into there in a second and let the rogue do his thing. So you feel like you're pretty stinky. You you creep down the stairs. I didn't. I never rolled anything. Oh, I thought that 23 was you. Never mind. It was totally <laughs> Oh, it was. All right. It was. Go and give I me. I can't roll anything. I I can't see my token. 
Oh, just a... Uh... Just roll a d20 plus 8. My god. You have a Chris moment right here. Do I fall down the stairs and just... <sighs> Do it. Yeah. So here's what happens. You guys are watching him. He starts to sneak up. He gets to the edge of the stairs. And he trips. trips. <laughs> and you see him tumble down. And I'm going to assume because you guys see him tumble down, you guys also rush down to his aid. Because you know your, your cover is probably already blown. I then proceed to throw a shuriken at Mathis. I think he should be prone at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, he will be. He will be. Oh, yeah, so joy. Got to get worse right now. Am I about to die instantly? No, you're He's just been prone. rolling now for five minutes. He's got lots of critters coming. See? I don't see anything. The screen's still black. Just sick. So you, you're going to take two damage too when you, when you see yourself. <laughs> the will of misfortune bit you. How much light does your uh, light spell shed? Uh, let me look real quick. How did I manage to roll it a one? Is, the light fills the target space in all four, all squares within four squares of it. Do we just like stumble upon the Goblin Fortress? There's like so like a hundred uh, goblins and all jammed in one tiny room, and I'm just like fell to the bottom of it, and I'm just like, uh. Get your weapons. Here comes dinner. So, as uh, he falls down the stairs, you guys rush to help him, and you see two hobgoblin soldiers, two flail wielding hobgoblins, stand ready in the center of the dank chamber. Uh, a couple of braziers in the back stand ready in the center, or stand ready in, at the at the back. And there's some double doors to the front. And uh, you also see two goblins that are that are half flanking these double doors with crossbows. They were expecting us. They're standing guard. Yeah, they're expecting us. They would all be here, not just four. So go ahead and roll some initiative. When I can see myself. There we are. You should be able to see yourself. I don't. You don't see yourself? Nope. Look around. You're in the center of the black stuff. Yeah, you're probably in the center of the map. Scroll scroll Beautiful. down. Scroll scroll uh scroll down the page and you'll probably see yourself. Or just move your screen around to see some white stuff. You have to zoom out okay. all the way. See yourself now? Yeah. Ow. I hate myself for that. So, I'm going last. And you're the front. Hey, look at John. Alright, guy. Did he fall asleep again? Nah, I'm sure he's there. Guy, can you make an initiative roll? I'm hearing you, but what's that? Just make an initiative mm -hmm. roll. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. This is going to be fun. No, it's not. I'm going to get to go last again. Crapo. Nope. I'm going last. That's my title. It used to be my title. Yeah, well, I'm taking it from you. I, I can't shake the feeling the bad luck is, like, shifting from me to Chris. 
We're like juggling it back and forth. All right, hobgoblins are up first. So this one's going to rush up and attack the guy that fell down. And you got very lucky. He only rolled a 12. That's with that's with combat advantage from you being prone. Ha. Uh. Got lucky. It's your turn. I'm going to stand up. That's your movement. And then I'm going to use um, Piercing Strike with my short sword. Sounds good. Dang it. That's a miss. No. Yes. And I'm done. All right, Chris, you're up. Okay, hold on. Let me look at some real quick. Thought I could redeem myself. I'll be right back for a sec, real quick, too. This is beginning to look familiar. Which yeah. part? The bottled up like a like a cork? So no, we're I'm back. Guys. We got two guys in the back of the room with crossbows too. Yep. Crap. Yep. I thought I <clears throat> I thought I put a I put a pizza in during the uh, break and I thought I put a timer for it, but it didn't go off. I have to go grab it. <laughs> Alright, what you gonna do, Chris? Alrighty, I'm gonna do uh, Scorching Ray right there, because that's my range, so hopefully we'll hit that guy right there. Right where? There. Okay. That's my end of my range, 10 squares. So sure, I'll hit him. Does a 19 hit? Versus Reflex? Yes. Pretty sure it does. Okay, and then it takes fire, fire, five fire damage. Unless it's a ninja goblin. He uh, lets out surprised Yelp as a burst of flame pops up and, and hits him. Do you smell smoke? Guy is going to walk over here. Don't tell me he's about to open the door. Yeah, he opens the door. And 60 Dang it. Pour out. No, it, it's fine. Yeah, Shane's going, it's fine. You're all going to be sleeping very soon. Does Myers open the door and then he uh, launches a bolt at Vengren. I get it. I he up. he double crit fails. Yes. He rolls two ones. Nice. He fumbles. He's done. Did he shoot himself in the foot and nail himself to the floor? No, I don't. I, I I'm not doing this because then then I would do the same for you guys. And, I and, know. And last game you guys could not have afforded that. Yeah, we could not have afforded that. No. No, this other one is going to uh, move up. And he'll launch a bolt at uh, Mathel. What? And he hits you for seven. Okay, Alright, Minger, you're up. Okay, I can move through methyl space, right? Problem is, you're going you're to take an opportunity attack. Pretty much no matter what you do. 
Yeah, I know. But to get to, a, to, get to open my, space. Yeah, I'm going to do my goring charge on that guy directly north of me. And okay. with my heedless whatever the hell it is, I get a plus two on opportunity attacks gotcha. during a charge. So I'm just going to go ahead and try it. So it's the, he's going to hit you. <laughs> You're going to take seven points. He, t he rolled a 25. So it, it's going to hit you. But you're, you're going to take seven points of damage. Alrighty. Alright, so. Go ahead and make your attack roll for uh, scoring charge. Alrighty, so a 27 That's versus a hit. SAC. And he takes uh, six damage, and he's knock prone. Very nice. Guy will stand up. And wait, where's Guy's turn? I rolled an eight. Yeah, it's I'll not on the guy. Okay. Who's that, me or Hobgoblin? Hobgoblin's up. Okay. So he will uh, attack with his flail on uh, on Minger. To return the favor. So a 19 versus AC, and you're going to take 10 damage. And you are marked and slowed until uh, the end of my next turn. Dear God. I'm bloodied. That did not take long. I didn't take any healing surges during our rest because I only lost like three points during that last fight, so. That means you only have two health. I got three health. Much better. <laughs> right, Ragnar, you're up. Okay. Um, as I go past that guy right there, I'm going to take a, an attack of opportunity to get out into the open room somewhere. Is that correct? That's correct. But I only take one. Yep. Actually, no, you won't. Never mind. He already, he already took an attack of opportunity on Minger. So you so will not take one. one. So he can't take another? Yep, that's right. But I can't move through him either. Okay. Can't move through him, but you can move around him. Okay. Now, the other guy, as I approach him, I can... I could be moving into and around him, and and everything's peach keen. Which one? Guy right here. Um, no, he, that one hasn't. That one has not taken an opportunity attack yet. So if you uh, if you move around him, you can if you can attack him. So if you move into a square next to him, you can attack him, and you'll be fine. But if you move through a square next to him, you'll take an attack. I see. So I can move up next to uh, the Minotaur basically and take an attack without. Yep. Maybe you'll be fine. Getting an attack of opportunity, okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, and I will attack the guy at the catty corner. Well, I'll attack the only guy I can attack with a reaping strike. I'm going to guess you're going to mark him, too. And I'm going to mark him, too. Thank you for reminding me that I'm marking these guys. One. Yeah. Seven. Seventeen. That's a miss. Howie. These guys got flails and shields. So they probably have a little bit higher AC than the bugs did. Yep. But he still takes three damage. Rest. 
So the bard's up. The bard is going to uh, cast uh, Misdirected Mark on the one next to Vengren. That's a miss. I already know it is. Ah, oh, the world is back to normal. And then I'm going to use a um, Majestic Word on uh, Minger. So you get to spend a healing search plus four, John. Yay! Then he'll be done. You're up, Mathel. And that puts me one point above bloodied. Okay. One second, I have to look at something. I want to shift like right here. Okay. And you can I also you, use... actually you can move on that one because he took an opportunity attack his turn already, so he can't take another one until until his next turn. So you can move more if you want to and be fine. Yeah, I took the hit for the team, so everybody else can just sort of file past him now. That sucks good. You have him flank now. What would you like to do? Oh, okay, you're moving more. Four. Five. Six. That one, the, that one, that, um, you would take right an opportunity attack from that one, yeah. Darn it. But if you move there and stop, you, you don't take it. Yeah, true. That's there. fine. Okay. And then I would just want to—I want to use Bond of Retribution and Oath of Oath of, Oath of Enmity on him. Okay, go for it. What's that versus? Is that versus yeah. reflex or AC? It's versus AC. Then it is a miss. Well, I Both still have the... I'm going to roll a, roll a second time. Yeah, there, there you go. What's the damage on that? Um... I don't really know, actually. It's not really. Just look on your. Uh, what's your weapon? You're using a scimitar. Oh, yeah, That's a oh, yeah, D8, it's, right? It's on the. Yeah, it's on, it's on my uh, melee weapon. So one D8 plus four. So twelve. Yep. You get a good strike in. He's hurt, but he's not quite bloody. Let me know. If, let me know if I attack you before your next turn, so you can take extra damage. Okay. This guy is going to uh, shift back a square. And he'll use his uh, flail on Guy. Saw him run past him. He yells, he yells, uh, uh, traitor orc and uh, attacks you. The 19, so you take 12 damage, guy, and you are marked and slowed. He slowed also? No, I was just a mistake on my part. 
So, all right, then he's done. Rats. You're up, Vengren. I'm just going to shift forward and go, quit ignoring me. Good move, that may have been a mistake. Good move, Rogue. After seeing you tumble on the floor, he probably was like, I'm not to worry about this guy. Okay, walk downstairs. Piercing strike. That's a hit. He's just so mad at him. Don't forget your sneak attack. Oh yeah, I have that. There you go. 18. That's what you get for ignoring me. You you get under his gar and you you puncture him right in his chest. He's not dead or bloody, but he is hurting. Okay, Chris, your your turn to miss. Actually, Did hold on go? a second. We're about to do something last round. So all of a sudden, the braziers at the top start to move. Uh, can they attack? I'm sure if we get in their way, they can. Ah. <laughs> A little bit of warning next time, please. Shane, please don't ever do that again. I literally almost just freaking pissed myself. Oh my god. <laughs> and you see, a pretty much what it looks like is a ball of flame travels from one brazier to the other. Christian, you might want to move. Yeah, I'm gonna be booking as soon as as soon as I can. That scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> this is good. Scared me too. It's supposed to. All right, Chris. Now you can go. Okay. Right there in that square, so I get hit both of them. All right. Chachiga. Those are both hits. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Hold on a second, let me find a pun. I'm trying to tune him out. This battle has been burned. Did I do it? Yes, you did. Yay. Okay, you notice that one of them is now singed and bloody. You're welcome. This uh, this guy's gonna shift. Actually. actually, it's not his turn. Uh, this one is going to uh, fire a crossbow at uh, the the deva in front of him. Yes, hurt me. Wait or a minute, miss That's... me. Yeah, that that would be a minus to his attack because he's close range. With no, no, it, it, weapon, otherwise it? the other one. Oh. So he's going to hit you with a with a 24 versus AC, so you take 7 damage. Okay, Ooh. now this, this dude right here takes damage too. You to your intelligence modifiers, he'll take 3 damage. And he is now really hurt. And he'll move a little bit. Does he attack his friend because he knows it was his fault? <laughs> no, but now this one's going to shift back. And he'll uh he'll throw he'll launch a crossbow bolt at Mathel. Because he's closest to him. <laughs> I'm dead. No, he misses. He rolled a twelve. Cool. The blood got in his eyes. Could be. His hands are kind of shaken because he's the blood loss. All right, Minger, you're up. Alrighty, let's go with, uh, yeah, let's just go with our righteous brand on that guy right there in front of me that I hit before. Good. You kind of have to attack him. <laughs> well, if you don't, you take minus two, so you're good. Uh, 
Righteous brand on the one in front of you. The one that marked you. That'll be that's a miss. Probably, yeah, that's probably not going to hit. Uh, is there anybody that's like in real, real bad? How bad a shape are you in, Christian? I have six health left. Another crossbow shot will kill me. Okay, then let's go ahead for my minor action and do a healing word on him while we're at it. Okay. The so rule of D6 plus three. And you'll use a healing surge plus six. Wait, so I get, I get to use a healing surge plus six? Yep. Shane, quick question. Sure. If he uses healing word and we don't have any healing surges left, will we just get healed back the value that he rolled? No, you don't get. You, know, you can't. You can't use it on you then. Oh. The strain. No, the strain of, of the heal like is too much. The strain of the heal is too much for you. The only thing I can do at that point is use my daily, because that automatically gives you five hit points. Yep. But, and then you have a ut yeah. and then next level you'll get a utility power if you want to pick that utility power that lets you. It's called Cure Light Wounds, and it yeah, let you, that's under the yeah, that's the one I'm looking yep, at. It will let you do a heal, do a spend a healing surge without actually spending the healing surge. Yeah. Kind of neat. So you just get to like tack those points on, and they don't actually cost you anything. So this one oh, that nice. that uh. Minger just attacked. Will attack Guy because that's who he's, has marked him. And a 13 versus AC is going to be a miss. Actually, should have shifted, but wouldn't have mattered. 15 misses too. So, all right, you're up, Guy. I'm going to make a furious assault on the on the uh, creature to my south. I'm attacking uh, with flanking advantage. Okay, which uh, what other attack are you going to use? Uh, reaping strike. Sounds good. And I'm marking him as well. Okay. So many marks out there. I, for, I, for, I, forgot to say, I forgot to say, but I am unbloodied. And this is 10 plus 4. Yeah. Nine. You knocked us not out of them. No, I didn't. God damn it. Fourteen would have been knocking the snot out of me. Anything better than that would have been a triple. Oh well. He's bloodied. Not forgotten. Okay, the bard is <clears throat> up. Um, he is going to use. By the way, do I make a healing throw to be unslowed, or is this? Nope, that'll that'll, that'll uh. Turns? End of your next turn. So actually, um, let's see. Minger, you are no longer slowed and marked. Okay. All right, cool. So I am slowed until the start or the end of my next you're, turn? You're, you're going to be slowed for until the beginning of the guy that attacked you last time's next turn. Or okay. until, I'll, I'll let you know. So, um, <laughs> I know, you. it could be, it's, it was a little confusing. It is. Okay. So the bard is going to use um, his encounter power blunder on the one that uh, guy just attacked. So it's 15 versus will, which I'm pretty sure is a hit. No, it's a miss. Nuts. Yeah. Hold on a second, let me look at something here. Uh, 
I got nothing. I got nothing attacked to it. So, yeah, that's a miss. Darn. Barely a miss, but a miss. Hobgoblins are a little more uh, resilient than other races. So, Mathel, you're up. Okay, I'm going to move right here, and I'm going to overwhelming strike him. Sounds good. That's yeah. it. You want to roll again and see if you crit? Woohoo! Yeah, I'm definitely taking the first one. Yeah. So go ahead and roll damage. Six. You kill it. That's the number you needed. Yay. I'm getting rid of all the crop ranged guys. All right. I'm so glad you moved there, too. Oh, no. Them damn things are fixing to move. I know it. I'm dead. Farewell, Curve World. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Shade, seriously, That's a warning, please. Cool. Give, give us a that warning, awesome. Shade. <laughs> oh, you should have cool. known it was coming when I when I moved that there. So, yes, God. here comes the, it's an attack um, versus reflex. Undead, guys. Bury my, bury my ashes. So it's a 17 versus your reflex. Which I, I know is close. Probably. At least I didn't. That would even hit me. At least it my, wasn't my fault. My reflex is 14. It's the one time I've taken fire damage without... You take five damage. Shh. Okay, it's not that bad. I didn't, man. I was so happy you moved there. I was like, yes! I get to do it! <laughs> um, uh, what, okay, I have a question. What if I moved right here? Um, will the little fire things come and try to incinerate me again? You would have to wait and see. Aww. But you could tell what they did was they moved down one, they launched an orb of fire from one to the other. That's kind of their thing. That looked like a stream of fire, not an orb. Well, it's what I use. Think of, think of it as a ball of fire traveling from one to the other. Okay. Or it could be a jet of fire traveling from promise. one to the other. Shake and bake, buddy, shake and bake. All right, this one turns and attacks guy. Stop ignoring me! And he's going to use something called formation strike, which is um, twenty four versus AC, which is going to be a hit, and he can shift a square too, as long as he ends up next to another hobgoblin. So you're going to take eight damage, guy. I'm bloodied. And, but you are, uh, he'll end his turn and you're no longer slowed and marked. And I believe I, I get five temporary hit points here. That's an encounter thing. Sounds good. Uh, how much damage was that? Eight. And then he'll actually, he sells a move left, he'll actually shift back one more square. Oh, that little... Oh, that wasn't too nice of him to run away like that. Mm. Let, me look at, let me look something up real quick, because I think you might get an opportunity attack.
Yeah, so your combat challenge, and just see whenever a marked enemy that's adjacent to you shifts, or makes attack does not attack you, you can make a melee attack. So, yep, guy, you can make a melee attack if you want to. That's a miss. Alright, Vengren, you're up. I'm gonna move here. And then shift here. You don't have to shift, you can just move. You won't take an attack. You won't take I... an attack. Oh, I won't. Okay, then no. I'll just move there. Then. If you, once you, if you move into a square, it's fine. But if you if you move through a square, that's next to a monster, that's when you take an opportunity yep. attack. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you I'll... try to keep keep going past him, then they hit you. Okay. Well, then I'll just attack the the bloodied one with piercing strike. Sounds good. That's a hit. Yes. Nice cool. damage. Ignoring me. Get through his defenses and you get a good hit on him. He's uh, starting to cough up some blood and all. But he's still standing. Quit ignoring me. All right, Chris, you're up. Chris? Where, yeah. you attack, where are you attacking at? Oh, okay. I thought, oh, I thought I, you just... I pressed the wrong button again. I'm okay. stupid. Oh my gosh, Chris. So, those are both misses. Yeah. I'm gonna move a little bit. Go for it. Don't worry, Chris. Oh, We've all we been here. All right, I, know the these, time. I know these dark times of not hitting anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this uh, guy with the crossbow is going to attack Vengren. You know he's going to attack. No, he's going to attack Mathel because he's still close to him. Yeah, I'm re like really close to him. A 16 versus AC. Everyone's ignoring me. Um, I think I'm right on the money here. I think that's a hit. I think you have a 16. Yeah, I do. So you, you take 10 damage. You rolled max damage. Great. I'm back to little to no health again. Back to the land of bloody. Alright, Minger, you're up. Alrighty, I'm going to use my Ratchet's Brand on the one that's just, like, to the left of me there. That's a mess. Yeah, that's going to be a mess. So let me go ahead and throw that second healing word at Christian over there since he's kind of out there by himself. I just saw another goblin appear. Two. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and roll uh, d6 plus three. Dang it, it's already there made. There you go. Yep, you can spend a healing surge plus seven. Yep, more goblins. Here I was thinking I was going to go to bed before one tonight. So, uh, the door opens and these two goblins walk in. And, uh, Matthew, you hear something from them. Because they're, they're, they're kind of just, they're chatting as they walk. They didn't hear the fighting because like... these do double doors are pretty thick. What do I hear? I'm typing it in. So they're coming from that double door up at the nor up at the top of the broom there.
And they're actually uh, they're startled by the fighting, so they're, they'll take a turn being startled. This one's going to attack Guy. And he'll miss with a 14. You're up, Guy. Hey, Guy. Yes. You're up. Yep, I'm still...